Hi, welcome to the show. Today we thought we'd grab a word with Epic TV climber Hazel Finlay. She's been having a lot of problems with her shoulder, so she's been under the knife. She's on the way back, and here's what she had to say. Hi, I'm Hazel Findlay and I'm sat in my living room in Sheffield. So I'm sat in my living room in Sheffield because uh, even though the weather's nice outside, I'm still recovering from shoulder operation, so I still can't climb for a while yet. Uh, I actually first injured my shoulder six years ago on a route called Air Sweden in Indian Creek. Well, it was a really shouldery route. It was like, it was a crack climb to an arete and you had to like slap up this arete with your right hand. There's no foothold so your feet were just smearing and they'd like slip and then you'd just basically like fall onto your shoulder joints like each time. But because it wasn't that steep it wouldn't really hurt but like because I tried the route a number of times it just repetitively yanked on that shoulder and then um, it just started to hurt basically and then got and then I didn't really rest it and it got worse and then I rested it for like seven weeks or something and did loads of physio and and then basically for five years it was sort of okay like if I rested it and did the physio then I could manage it but then I'd have like months where it wasn't okay as well but then in the last year it got really bad Um, I, f I first saw a physio about it when I initially injured it six years ago and it just never got diagnosed as a slap tear. Some people suggested it to me um, but because for s I could actually manage the injury the only remedy for a slap tear is surgery so until it gets bad enough to warrant surgery there's no point really checking for that really. Um, because there's nothing you can do about it. So if you just do all of the strengthening. And so that's sort of what I did for five years and it wasn't too bad, but then it got really bad and then that's when I saw um, a doctor and I got an MRI scan. Yeah, so before the operation, uh, I did quite a lot of mental preparation, I'd say. Um, you know, I, I've always thought that if if this injury had just happened, you know, like say I'd fallen off my bike or something, and it was just like this really like quick event, um, that I would have dealt with it so much worse. So, you know, if like someone just suddenly said to you, you can't climb for the next six months or whatever, you'd just be so devastated. But because I'd gone through all of the stress of, of over the last year, it was, I could, I'd like mentally prepared for it, I suppose, like I knew it was an option. And then when they did say, you know, that when, when I did commit to getting the surgery, um, yeah, I, I like, you know, I, I, I really thought about what I was going to do with my time. I got the operation done two months ago, and for the first three weeks, my, I was just in a sling like not really able to do anything at all, like barely even household tasks, like couldn't even chop a vegetable. And then it comes out of the sling, but then for the next week or two it's quite painful because you haven't really moved your arm at all for three weeks, so you've got all this muscle wastage. And then after that it's just been getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And two days ago, so that was like the two month mark, I was able to go running. So for two months you can't actually really do any exercise, all I could do was some core and I've got a static bike machine. So you can't actually exercise outside for two months. So I'm pretty nervous about starting climbing again and not overdoing it because I think it'll be really easy to get too excited and and like, you know, because I'll be so unfit, I'll want to like start training and all the rest of it, but 
this, there is this chance of re-injuring it so I think that's going to be a really hard phase you know like having the patience to to recover slowly. I'm going to India in a week for a whole month because I've always wanted to go to the Himalayas so um, but I'm not super interested in big mountaineering stuff. I thought it'd be a good chance for me to go and see that area of the world um, you know, seeing as I'm not climbing. So that's going to be a whole month. And then after that, I'm going to come to Chamonix and just become a, a runner for a while. I'm going to get into my running. And then, and then after that, hopefully I can start um, climbing again. So it's really, it's really not that bad at all. <laughs> Thanks Hazel, and I hope the shoulder gets better. Last thing before we leave you, don't forget that if you sign up to become an Epic TV shop member, you get 10% off everything that we sell related to climbing. Not a bad deal. That's it from us today, we'll see you tomorrow.